Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Lion's Table. Today, let's take a moment to enter into the presence of God by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let God's Word, which is truth, fill us and give us strength. Let us contemplate His great love for us, His sacrifice on the cross, His mercy, grace, and promise of eternal life through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Word who was at the beginning, was with God and is God. Indeed, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, and without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life. Yes, in Him was life. John 1, verses 1 through 4. You know, folks, if you can't tell one, in my voice... Every time I read that, I am just so filled with the Holy Spirit, and I hope you are too. Dear brothers and sisters in the body of Christ, we are so happy for you to join us in this ark of God's Word. For faith comes by hearing God's Word. If anyone keeps his word, the love of God has been truly perfected in him. And by this we know that we are in him. 1 John 2, verse 5. So let us boast of weaknesses in ourselves so that the power of Christ rests upon us. And that comes from 2 Corinthians 11. So let me read it exactly how it is in 2 Corinthians 11 verses 30 through 31. If you, we, and Paul is saying I, must boast, we will boast of the things that show our weakness. Why? Because the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who forever is worthy of praise. Again, the God and Father of the Lord Jesus, who is forever worthy of praise. And know that we were created for him and through him. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. Colossians 1.16 This truth that we proclaim aligns us with God's will, his purpose for our life, which is the best possible way and outcome for you and your family. Stay in agreement, stay in alignment with God's word. Amen. You know, a long time ago, we, and I'm actually referring here to Adam and Eve, and it applies to us as well, because we are yet in a fallen condition. We fell out of alignment with God. But thank God he sent his son, Jesus Christ, the word who was at the beginning, was with God and is God. And he did that. So our very, rema- our very being remains in him. When he died, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into our death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Romans 6, 4. Let's come back to Colossians 1, 15 through 23, the supremacy of the Son. The Son is the image of the invisible God the firstborn over all creation. For in him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church, He is the beginning and firstborn from among the dead, so that in all things he may have preeminence. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. Once you were alienated from God and were hostile in your minds, engaging in evil deeds. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy, unblemished, and blameless in his presence, if indeed you continue in your faith, 
established and firm, and not moved but from the hope of the gospel you heard, which has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. Amen. And I love that part. Not moved, not moved from the hope of the gospel you heard. Let's continue now reading Colossians 3, verses 1 through 17. Put on the new self. Therefore, since you have been raised with Christ, strive for the things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. For you died, and your life is now hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. That is fantastic, isn't it? When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you will also appear with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, the components of your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming on the sons of disobedience. And when you lived among them, you also used to walk in these ways. Now, you must put aside all such things as these, anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to one another, since you have taken off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is no Greek, no Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, no barbarian, no Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. And therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with hearts of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with one another and forgive any complaint you may have against someone else. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which is the bond of perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, for to this you were called as members of one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ richly dwell within you as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom, and as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do it in all, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father, through him. Amen and amen. Thank you for joining us on this Sunday edition of Lion's Table. We hope it has been a blessing to you. And as always, we invite you to join us again next time.